adventure brings us back to Disney World, but this isn't just any day. We're not here for the rides or the entertainment. We're here for one thing, pin trading. We're going to dive in, we're going to hunt down the pin boards, and we're going to have some tasty treats along the way. My plan is to hit all four parks and stop off at some of the resorts as well and see what spectacular finds we can find on the Disney pin boards in our trading journey. Let's get started. As I wander around Animal Kingdom, I am not finding very many pin borns at all. I don't believe they're out yet. It seems maybe it's kind of early. I know the DVC stands generally have pin boards, but I don't see any DVC wraps yet. And I haven't seen any at the counters, which leads me to believe I probably need to ask for them since they're not out. Oh, it looks like the DVC is here now. They weren't here when I walked past, so I'll check and see if they're pin board. So we found our first pin board at the DVC stand. Some great gentlemen there. Got a couple buttons for the new cabins. And also a button for the villas at the Disneyland Hotel out in California. And then, again, you have you seen I got the Mickey Mouse pin. I don't think my wife has this one, so we'll see. I think, yeah, it's DVC stand up here also so we'll check and see if what their board looks like I don't see a pin board. We'll keep walking. So this DVC booth is right across from the Cotton Top Tamarins, where we got to see the new babies. There is still a new baby elephant at Animal Kingdom, so um, if we get a chance to take the safari, then we can go see the new baby elephant and all the other amazing animals on the Kilimanjaro Safari. pin board at the pin station just pins to purchase so maybe we'll stop back by there after we've traded some of these other pins off and need to refill we'll wander through the marketplace here see what we can find
There's a pin board. Getting our exercise today, walking around looking for them. Good, thank you. Having a good day so far? Wonderful day, how are you? Good. Good day? Wonderful. Can I trade for this Mickey right yes, here? Yes, you absolutely can. Any fun plans for today? Just wandering around pin trading. I love it. Have a great day, thank you. Of course, what well, I was gonna say, I'm testing my marker if you want a pin trading button for celebrating today. Sure, let's do it. All right, you thank you, Delaney. Have a wonderful day. Good morning, how are you doing? All right, look at that button we got. Celebrating pin trading. Thanks, Delaney. S'morosaurus shake. Some chocolate and caramel, vanilla shake, roasted marshmallows in there. And then you get this dino s'more. Look at this. If you're a s'mores fan, this is delicious. I stuck stuck to getting this instead of going after the churro. The s'mores churro looks really good, but I heard that um, in Disney World fashion, it's hard and crunchy. So I'm not about a hard and crunchy churro. If I want a churro, I'll go to Disneyland where they're soft and delicious. But the s'mores shake. This is a, a nice cool treat on a hot day. It's supposed to be in the mid 80s today, so this is a nice treat to start the day. Uh, as I head over to Hollywood Studios, I'm gonna get some more nice cool treats, that's for sure. Good morning, Discovery Island. You're all in the right place at the right time because Weeb Encounters is just getting started. Our two brother superstars are coming in for a landing. We're short experience, so you're definitely not gonna wanna miss. So I'm ready to come in so much closer. All this open space here in front of me. These are some of the best spots today if you want birds flying right over the tops of your heads. Now my name's Corey and I'm going to be a team of avian trainers and conservationists. Just a peek in over there and out of all these days, Natalie and Morgan. And our two brothers two stars behind them, we have Emmett and DeLuca. And does anyone know what kind of birds these are? You can just shout out. Macaws. Macaws. That's right. If you're thinking parrots, that's also correct. Macaws are a type of parrot. These two, they're a very special species called a blue-throated macaw. Super rare out in the wild, so it's really cool. You're going to see them right now. Pretty cool up close encounters. But these two birds, they actually just joined us about a half mile away. Has anyone seen the magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom on your team box? Go ahead. A couple people, and you probably recognize Evan. He's the feathered superstar on that show. And it shows you a little bit about how we do some of our training here at Meeting Powers. It is all centralized around positive reinforcement. So what that means is when the birds do something they like, like come out here and join all you, they're going to get something they like. Because these birds are completely free flighted, meaning that they can go wherever they want and do whatever they want, but they don't need shoes to join us here. They're going to get lots of those yummy snacks. It's also a great way to help us build relationships with these birds to that positive reinforcement training. And we love working with them every single day. But I have to tell you, not a single one of us go home to a car in the household. And that's because they make extremely challenging pets. While these birds are beautiful and intelligent, they certainly are messy, destructive, loud, and professional poopers. Yeah, and they're going to be all those things for the next 50 to 60 years. These birds live in decades on end, really making them a lifelong commitment. And that's why it's so great you can come to places like the Seas Animal Kingdom. Big birds just like Emma and the look here get that pair of fix. But maybe keep those homes parrot free. Now, if you are just joining us, we're out here with Emmett and DeLuca. My favorite part hasn't even happened yet, so definitely keep those phones and cameras in hand. But I do want to tell you a little bit more about these two very special birds. Uh, I mentioned blue-grounded macaws are a, um, one of the rarest species left out in the wild. 
Panama cows are critically endangered, actually. They're only found in the northernmost part of Bolivia, and actually there's estimated to be fewer than 400 individuals left. Like so many other species, they're facing things like deforestation, which is leading to their habitat loss, and even the illegal country. And I know 400 is a scary low number, but it's not all bad news, and that's because people have noticed, and those people, they've started to take action. For example, we've partnered with an incredible organization called the World Parent Trust. They're leaders in macaw conservation, and they're working on creating blue green macaws, just like in the end of the look right here, to release out to the wild. The goal for the meal with that smaller native population and drive that number up so we can see skies filled with macaws. As they climb with a little bit, like this. stopped off and bought some pins uh, and then I ended up giving a few away to some young kids that I ran into that didn't really have many pins to trade um, but they were starting their collection and they were young so um, it's a lot of fun to you know help, help out the young kids certain their trading and then I did trade one with somebody else and I picked up this Disneyland Jack Skellington so that one is uh, really great for me I love Jack Skellington and we love Disneyland so an awesome pin. Uh, so I picked up the uh, Disney Munchman's pack and I have um, my checklist here. There's two of them left that we've got to get. So we're going to open this up, check out and see what we got in here and then we'll go from there. We're getting Baymax. Pizza Slice Mini. And looks like they're all duplicates. So we'll trade those off when we get to Hollywood Studios. And then there's the Disney Hidden Mickey pouches. And I think there's like five or six different sets hidden in these pouches. So never know what you're going to get. I'll have to check the checklist later for these. We got these two. And in the next one. These two. So, I'll check the checklist. See which ones I need and which ones I don't need, and then uh, we'll trade the other ones at Hollywood Studios. So as I was leaving, I found this other pin board here, and while trading to get this Minnie Mouse right here, a lady came up and traded for a pin and left this Jack Skellington. So I traded for that. Um, if you guys follow along, you know Jack Skellington is our favorite Disney everything, movie characters, all of it. And then she was trading the Munchlings, so I traded this Mickey 
for another munchling that I had extras of. So I walked away from there with three really nice pins. All right, that's a wrap for Animal Kingdom. Um, as I was exiting to come out to the parking lot, I found another pin board. This time it was a traffic cone as you're entering the parking lot area. And I was able to pick up this Donald Duck that goes along with the Mini. So that's two of them towards that set that uh, we're collecting. So I'll have to check with my wife, but I think that might be the last one we need. So that'd be a good thing if we completed that set. Uh, one thing about pin trading that I didn't mention earlier is most places, um, usually if you're trading with a person, eh, you might be able to trade more than two if they're interested, but all the pin boards and all the cast members, it's a limit of two trades per person. So if you've got a family with you, it works out good. You can trade multiples. Um, for just a single person like me, it's two trades, which... They didn't have a whole lot of really good things that I seen on the pin boards. Most of what I seen is what they call in the message boards scrappers. Um, I don't know that I buy the whole buying knockoff pins. Um, to me it seems like maybe I've seen pins and metals and things produced in other facilities where you buy large quantities and they're, they're made in multiple locations and so they don't look the same. The, coloring may be different. Um, I mean, you even look at trading cards for Gideons and stuff like that. There's color variations. It just depends on the day they're produced or where they're produced. I can only imagine pins are the same way. Um, there, there is some telltale signs on the back. Uh, most of them have a Mickey design in the back. They say Disney pin trading. They've got a logo and a stamp. So if they're smooth and they don't have that, yeah, they're probably not real but outside of that there's going to be some color variations but um how about divine that was really cool uh i absolutely love, love animal kingdom i think it's a, a great place to come i could sit here for hours and just watch the animals and watch people walk around uh, i really enjoy this park a lot so main goal for today is pin trading so let's head to the next park and see what we can find Up next is Hollywood Studios. This park is full of movie magic and excitement, but today we're in search of pins. Let's see what we can find. All right, well, the pin board was not in there like normal, so we'll just keep walking and see what we can find. Maybe stop off at Starbucks here for a little treat soon. I don't know. We'll wander down Sunset Boulevard, see what the little shops have. Definitely getting hungry, need to find something to eat for lunch, so we'll find something tasty. Thank you. You're welcome. She's also pin trading if you want to pin trade. Okay, perfect, I appreciate it, thank you. Let's do the Incredibles egg. Mm -hmm. And I'll do the do the crown. I don't I think I have it, but I'll get it just in case. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. 
found another pin board in that shop and I traded for an Incredibles Easter egg. Oh, it's upside down. Nice little Easter egg here. And I also traded for the crown hat part of that series the hat series and then I looked on my sheet and realized I already had it so I'll go ahead and trade that one away and then there was a lady in there trading pins and I traded away one of my duplicates for the sleeping kitty I think that's Figaro um, stopped off at Fairfax Fair they didn't really have anything that I wanted to eat so I grabbed a um, Bell's cup of enchantment it's a cranberry with pineapple orange guava juice, Disney's famous Pog. Um, I get down here over by the Muppets, they have Pog gelato. That's unbelievably good. If you haven't had Pog, try it. My daughter Addie, she loves Pog. Um, it's got some strawberry boba on there and some shimmer. So, I don't know. Hopefully the shimmer don't give me cancer later on in life, right? You never know about some of that stuff that they put in food edible shimmer i think i used some of that stuff on cakes when i was doing the bakery but uh oh i passed another pin board so we're gonna go back and the uh sunset ranch pins and souvenirs always has a pin board here so we'll go see. all right so the pin board in the tower of terror is no longer at the cash register it's back at the photo center so we'll wander back here and see what we can find. How are you? I am looking for the pin board. There it is. All right, let's see what we have. Nothing yet, but too far. I think the car is too far. Well, I'm glad I found that pin board. Um, Traded off a couple more of my extras and I got the 101 Dalmatians popsicle that we needed for the popsicle set. So that one's really good. And then I found this little hot rod car. Look at this. I can't see if you can see it all the way, but it looks like it has Jack Skellington driving this little hot rod. So I have never seen these before. I don't know what it's for. Oh no, it says right on the back of it, Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm gonna have to research these pins and figure out what this came from um, and see if there's more of them, see if it's a set that maybe uh, Carrie knows something about. She follows the pins a lot more closely than I do. So I don't know if um, she's seen these before or not. I'm gonna send her a picture right away and definitely get a um, print out of this or a screenshot of this on my phone so I can look for the rest of them. Uh, really interested in this. This is cool. I don't know if maybe it's a Hot Rod series, but it says Nightmare Before Christmas on the back. So that would lead me to believe that the whole series is a Nightmare Before Christmas series. So definitely going to look out for these. If you've seen these and you know what these are, let me know in the comments because I've never seen this before and I'd really like to. Um, I think I'm going to drop off here quick, get a photo with the photo pass since there's nobody in line. Um, Tower of Terror is always a great photo, so I'll see you in a minute. Alright, photo's done. I'm starting to run out of pins. I've got three pins left to trade, so I'm going to have to stop in and buy some more pins somewhere. Hollywood Studios has been very good for pins. found quite a few, so I'll have to... Look and see what sets they have in the shops and try and complete some of the sets by buying them. And then we'll have the spares to trade off and then keep on wandering. So I think I'm gonna wander back over here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna wander back up to the main, main pin shop up front and I'll buy them up there. And then we'll go over to Toy Story Land I know there's a DVC stand on the way into Toy Story Land that has pins usually. So we'll stop and see them. And then we'll continue on to Star Wars Land and circle around.
All right, picked up some more pins. So we'll open these up quick and we will see what we have. Mark off of what we've got on our checklist and then we can continue trading because I've got two pins left to trade. So I had to restock the, the doubles. So let's see what we got going on here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 12 pins to trade and two to keep. So not a very good ratio there. Hopefully we do better next time we need to buy some or we can fill a lot of what we need with these pins that we trade away. So let's um, wander over and get some food. I think I'll do a mobile order at Dockside Diner, grab something to eat, and then we can continue uh, over in Toy Story Land unless I get something in Toy Story Land to eat. Let me look at the menu and then we'll see where we're gonna go. So this must be a sign that it's way too hot out. So I got the... Um, I don't remember. I don't even remember what it's called now. Let's look. This is the Princess Alderaan shake, or it was. <laughs> it's a salted caramel shake with some whipped cream and some shimmer on top. And uh, it's supposed to have these little mini cinnamon rolls on the side, but. Uh, they kind of rolled off while I was walking over to the table and uh, this one fell on the ground so I'm not going to eat this one but everything's melting really fast so um, we'll just take a sip of this quick and uh, before it spills all over the place it makes a bigger mess than it already is. Oh it's delicious though. I love salted caramel. It's got good flavor. and. Um, I got the bacon mac and cheese, so this was at the um, Dockside Diner here. Now it's really just Kraft mac and cheese with bacon bits on it, so nothing spectacular. We'll find something else later. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go get a straw from my messy shake that spilled all over and eat my bacon mac and cheese and then we'll continue pin trading you guys don't want to see the mess that this is going to make because it's melting so probably be more comedy than anything because it's going to be all over me so i'm going to need some napkins So I got one pin from the Toy Story gift shop. It's the Baymax Popsicle. So the only popsicles we need yet are the Mickey Popsicle and then um, Flounder Popsicle, Ariel's Flounder. So see if we can find those on the pin boards today. So far so good at Hollywood Studios though. I'd say uh, this one's been a home run. Found some good ones at Animal Kingdom, but not as many as we're finding here. So, so far, uh, 
Hollywood yeah. Studios is the winner in my books. We'll see what we find at Epcot and Magic Kingdom. And see if we got enough time. May hit some resorts yet today. Riviera. Um, maybe if we take the Skyliner, we can get to Riviera. Otherwise, we may just come out the back entrance to Epcot and do Boardwalk Beach Club, Yacht Club. And then when we go to Magic Kingdom, we can hit Contemporary Polynesian and Grand Floridian. Uh, that'll give us six resorts to check pins. Uh, if not, I guess there's always tomorrow. I'm gonna stop at the DVC location at uh, Disney Springs. They open up a new shop there. Some interactive things I want to go look at and uh, film, bring you guys the content to see what's going on with DVC. Um, I'd like to do a little more content with DVC and, and kind of show that to everybody. If you've got any questions, uh, we are DVC members. We bought in at Copper Creek in 2019. We absolutely love it. Uh, I, I don't know everything there is to know about DVC, but if you've got some questions, I can try to help you out. Um, definitely worth it for us. We love it. We love the ability to stay at the resorts. Um, we actually booked uh, five nights at the Grand Floridian in October. So it's uh, great to be able to get into some of the really nice resorts. So we're going to head on into Star Wars land now and we'll see what we've got for pins over there and i need to check and see about star wars lanyards and maybe a couple of starter pins um, for my little goodie bags that i want to buy No pins in there. Don't have the lanyards I'm looking for either. So we'll keep walking. This has got to be one of the coolest lands. Well, I take that back. Avatar is pretty, pretty stellar, especially at night. But the way Disney does these lands, how immersive they are. I am really interested in the frozen land.
All right, starter pin set purchased, water bottle purchased. So one nephew is done and I got some pretty neat pins off the pin board. Check out this Sorcerer Mickey hat with the American flag, super cool. And then I also got this Minnie Mouse Easter egg. I think we got it. I'm going to have to send a picture of it to Carrie and find out for sure. Um, if we do, then I'll just throw it on another pin board here in a little bit. Uh, maybe at Epcot. We'll move it out of Hollywood Studios and get it over to Epcot. And maybe somebody there will be interested in picking that one up. So we're going to continue on over to the Hyperion Theater here where Frozen is. And there usually is a pin board over there as well. So. We'll check that out, see if there's a pin board there. And I think that's the last pin board here. I'm gonna wander around and snap some photos and then we'll head off to Epcot. What a great trip to Hollywood Studios. We found a lot of amazing pins to help complete the sets. I might've completed a set or two in there. I'll have to check and see to find out um food was so par like i said the shake was decent macaroni and cheese is just like craft macaroni and cheese with some bacon bits on it nothing spectacular uh but hey we're heading to epcot next and flower and garden festival means there's great food so we'll hit up a couple more food stands that we didn't hit uh on the last trip and we'll see what kind of delicious goodies we put in my mouth and see what we can find for pins the pins are pretty neat over there each land that you go through uh, there's the Kidcot stops and they have the little um, they're, they're like uh, little cards at each uh, country that gives you translations for the languages and the pin boards are located in those locations and then I did see when I was at the flower and garden festival last weekend that there was cast members walking around with the hip pouches that have the the pins as well so we'll look out for them and see what we can find all right it'll be interesting to see if the sun behind me screws up the video um, i did switch back to the gopro using my phone for this amount of recording it's just killing the battery so I'm going to use my phone to get pictures and maybe a little bit of vertical frame footage. But for the most part, I think I'm going to just stick with the GoPro. Um, I think if I can get these settings down, I do like having the gimbal, but I think the gimbal connected to the GoPro is really draining the battery on it because since hooking it up to the gimbal versus using the Volta handle, it's burning the batteries up so we'll see maybe i'll switch back to the volta and stop using the gimbal or we'll see i don't know if you got any tips out there what are you using what have you found that works the best i'd like to hear maybe i'll switch it up a little bit now it's time for epcot the park known for international flair, amazing food, and of course, we're here for some epic pin trading. Let's see what treasures await us in the World Showcase. Okay, so I went into Pin Traders and I made a trade in there and I got another one of these banner pins. I'm pretty sure we don't have this set. 
Um, but then when I came out, there was people outside trading pins. And I was able to trade to get this Hong Kong Disney pin of the castle. And I also traded for a 2001 Disney Magic, Disney Magic, Disneyland cast member pin. So that's really cool. So that's a not for sale pin given to cast members only. And so she had one and I was able to trade for it. So that's really neat. Okay, uh, stop by World Traveler, no pin boards. I am going to just go ahead and stay in Epcot just because if I go out to Beach Club, Boardwalk and Yacht Club, I probably won't make it to Magic Kingdom. So I wanna hit the four parks. Maybe tomorrow after Disney Springs, we can hit some resorts if I feel up to it. Still got a four hour drive back to Savannah, so uh, go ahead and hit Epcot. Is back in the baker. Um, so we'll head back there. Most of these pin boards, I know where they're at unless they moved them. So should be pretty quick getting through here. I'm just gonna hit the pins and go. And again, nothing for pins. There was about eight pins on there, if I counted quick enough. So we may be able to breeze through Epcot pretty quick and get over to Magic Kingdom. Um, kind of sad, but we'll see. Maybe we'll find something in Japan or America, Norway, Germany, I don't know. total shiny object moment so gotta get back on the track of pin trading but that was pretty cool I can't believe 57 years they've been together and she can still sing like that that's just amazing like and it says remember opening October 1971 so that has to be some sort of park opening pin for Walt Disney World. Um, it says on the back of it, Hidden Mickey Pin 405. So this must have been a Hidden Mickey Pin set at some point. And you can see um, 
at about between uh, four and five right there, Mickey. Kind of what I meant you'll find from time to time cast members walking around with pin boards or um, little um, side pouches. But there should be more back here. Yep, right there. No, I don't think so. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Trade for this Mickey here. Sure. Alright, thank you. You're Have a good day. You too. Alright, there he is. Mr. Cool. So this is a pretty cool Mickey I got here. He's got his sunglasses on and his basketball shorts. I don't know. It's another pin I don't think we have or another pin that I've never seen. So we'll see. Maybe she has them. Maybe I'm making a mistake and getting a bunch of pins that I'm going to have to search out and fulfill the full sets for. So maybe I should have just stuck to the ones that I had. Creating a monster, I think. I think I'm going to skip the festival food um, just because the lines. I might just grab something. I'll get a quick service order, maybe Harbor House or something when I get over to the Magic Kingdom. We're pretty close to getting done with Epcot. A uh, couple places to stop yet. Check pins and then I got to check a couple shops for some things and then we'll get out of here. Okay, so didn't have what I wanted in the shop either, so we'll check the pins in Mexico and then I'm going to hit the creation shop on the way out, see if I can find what I want in there, and then we'll head to Magic Kingdom. Maybe I'll find it there. Who knows? Maybe they'll have pins there because there sure is no pins here. No pin board. So, I don't know, maybe it's moved in here. But we're gonna head to Creations and get out of here. We'll uh, leave it up to you. Leave a comment on what park you wanna see for next weekend. <laughs> and that's a wrap for Epcot. Kind of sad. We got one pin out of every stop, but I got this really cute water bottle for my niece, so I guess that's kind of worth it. Still need to get some pins for her. Got the lanyard, and then I still have to get a lanyard pin set and water bottle for the other nephew and then I'll have, have it done. So I'm gonna have to tell their mama not to let them watch this video because they like to watch Uncle Jason's videos and I can't give away the gifts until Easter, right? So I'm gonna have to tell her, can't watch the video until after Easter, but 
We're gonna make our way to Magic Kingdom and we'll see what we find there. And hopefully it's something great. Although Magic Kingdom doesn't close till 11, so we got some time there. I wanna get over there for the fireworks, see if I can't get a spot center of the castle this time and uh, get that live streamed up. So we'll uh, head to Magic Kingdom. Let's see if we can squeeze our way into a little hole at the hub and watch the fireworks from the hub this time. We've got an hour, so there might be plenty of room to get in, but I know everybody's starting to line up. We can get in there and get a spot. That's going to conclude our pin trading excursion through Walt Disney World. Uh, hope you had a fantastic time. I know I did. Met a lot of great people, had a lot of interactions with um, guests throughout all the parks. Found a lot of really good pins. Hollywood Studios by far was the best. Um, I did pick up a one pin here in Magic Kingdom. Um, I, I went out after the fireworks and went down to the pin shop and I found one. Other than that, I think most of the pin boards have gotten put away, so uh, I just wandered around and looked at the merchandise a little bit and then headed out. Uh, so we'll do this again sometime. I hope you liked the video. Um, drop a comment down there in the comment section if you, uh, you do pin trading. And if you enjoyed the video, um, hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, that way you can start seeing future content. All right, take care.